Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Firaxis live stream. I'm Pete Murray, joined once again by Mr. Jake Solomon. Lead, Hi, everybody. Lead designer of XCOM 2. Jake, we have some cool stuff to talk about today. Yeah. We have some cool stuff to give away today. Yes, it's the best day. We're giving away free things. So, okay. Or free thing. Free thing. We're giving away free thing. So we have an art book, The Art of XCOM 2. This is a really cool hardbound book uh, that we'll be giving away later on the stream. And uh, it's got both the concept artwork and some of the final products uh, from the game itself, too. It's a really, really impressive look at what the artist did. It's uh, beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I haven't actually seen it, but I've seen the art, and it's beautiful. I've seen the, the, uh, the, 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 the proofs and everything. It's, it's gorgeous. Take cool. my word for it. And it can be yours. So we'll get into that a little bit later on on the stream. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Psy Soldiers, and we just announced that, that this is the fifth class uh, of troops for XCOM um, earlier this week when the, when the preview coverage went out. And we thought we'd show you a little bit of these guys in action today because they're very, very cool. So, Jake. Yeah, Psy Soldiers. I mean, uh, psionics is kind of, it's always a fundamental part uh, of XCOM, and so with XCOM 2, we kind of wanted to take it and we wanted to make it its own entire class. And... And because it's a sort of optional class, it's not one that's ever going to come up without the player doing a lot of work to get it. Uh, that kind of frees you up as a designer, so we were able to make it a very powerful, very strange class compared to the others. And so it's definitely my favorite, I think, because as a designer you get to do so much fun stuff. You make them really powerful, um, and then you're a little freer with the design because, let's be honest, they're wizards. Basically, these are wizards. These are our wizard class. So. Should we, uh, should we show people how the wizard class works? Yeah, let's do it. Let's so do let's, it. Uh, we'll, we'll load into our game here. First, you go to the Tower of Grabnook, and you capture the scepter of... I don't know. That's I don't not know. actually how it works. I would love to, to make that game, but... Um, it would be a lot of fun. But you do actually... I mean, it's kind of it's part of its own research path. So you start with, a, with an alien autopsy, and then you, you go on from there. Yeah, there's a couple of ways, actually, to, to earn the psionics tech. But yeah, the, the easiest way is to start with an autopsy of a sectoid, because you basically rip open their brain. This is how XCOM does science. The way we do, do science at XCOM is basically by shooting things first. Um, we have a very aggressive form of science in the, in the XCOM science department. So first you kill it, uh, and then you pull its brain open, uh, and then you look inside, and you, from, from doing that, instead of just asking us, but you could just ask them, but we find it easier just to shoot them and rip the brain open. And then from there you sort of learn their secrets. And that's obviously a, a fundamental part of XCOM is using the enemy's tools against them, beating them to death with their own arms. Um, that's the XCOM way. And, uh, uh, and you get to build an XCOM-style science facility here. So this is yes. this is the Psy Lab. This is where you come and you can drop guys into here and uh, and conduct training. So um, we've got an engineer staffing here, so people are training up faster, which is kind of cool. And then what you can do is you can take one of your uh, one of your Psy soldiers, put them in here, and then you get a random. Uh, ability that they can potentially yes. learn. Yes. Yeah, Psionics is very very different. So. The facility is very expensive to build. The research is optional, and, and so you're, you're putting things off to do psionics, and then, and then it's expensive, and it draws a lot of power. It's very hard to build this facility. And then, um, yeah, psy operatives, they always get a sort of random uh, number of abilities to choose from. You don't even know what their basic ability is gonna be when they first, uh, when they first become a psy operative. And so, then after that, you get a random selection to choose from. So uh, Terrence, who is uh, actually um, our engineer on this show, uh, has set up this safe for us. He's a, he works in QA and has got us a couple of really cool Psy soldiers going here. So Good I job, was, Terrence. I hope you didn't mess anything up. We'll find out. No, he's uh, he's given us two really cool ones. Let's uh, let's start with this guy right here. Right, let's and see. one of my fa this this was very fun was that they have completely different rank names. I know that's silly. It's a tiny detail, but it was very fun because then then I did get to indulge my inner fantasy designer. Um, which doesn't get to come out that often, but they got all entirely different rank names. So this is the highest rank. This is the equivalent of a colonel, um, and he's a magus. He's a magus. All right, so let's look at his abilities here real quick. So one of the interesting things is you can see he's got two different um, kind of paths like, like the other classes do, but he's got skills from both classes here too. So he has both Inspire and Insanity. Right. Yeah. Unlike you're not making choices based off of a, a of a tree uh, like the other classes. Instead, you can study any and all abilities. You just don't know in what order they'll come up to study. And so you can get the the same abilities on the same level. Um, and you, you're kind of bouncing around. As you can see, you could get the most powerful abilities 
um, as your first abilities as a Psy operative, they would just take a very long time to train because mm -hmm. it, it takes a long time to train some of these abilities. Now, Brad Brooks is, I suppose, one name, but that doesn't Brad seem... Brad Brooks? That's yeah. a terrible name we should for rename a him. soldier. We should rename him. Hi there, I'm Brad Brooks. Uh, I work I'm in accounting and I'm a Psy operative. And I'm actually a, a magus. Uh, maybe <laughs> you, uh, you're not familiar with that, but it's a Latin term and it means we need to give this guy a new name. So right. let's give, let's give uh, Brad Brooks a cool first and last name, and we will, we will, we're watching chat right now so we can see what you guys come up with. Yeah, let's give old Brad Brooks a, a sweet, psi-operative name. Something awesome. Well, there's some Korean characters, so uh, not there's a There's a good. character from a recent science fiction movie that I don't think we're gonna be able to use. Yeah. Um, political characters, uh, we're gonna leave off them. Oh, Zoltan, Cosmos. We could re we could bring Zoltan Cosmos back. Let's bring him back. Let's bring him back. All right. Except let's yeah, let's, Zoltan Zoltan's a great name for a wizard. You know, I, I, I mean, think so. I think there are people in the world actually named Zoltan, but it, yeah, Zoltan. They're all wizards. I don't know if you knew that or not. Zoltan Cosmos. Zoltan Cosmos. That's what's, much. That's much better. Right, and the nicknames that you get when when you love those are chosen for your class. So operatives have special nicknames. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Zoltan, Zen, Cosmos. Zen, Zen is okay. Yeah, Zen's alright. It's very alliterative. Yeah, yeah. I, oh yeah, and then when, when you're psyoperative, again, they, they get sort of like all white hair and the purple eyes once they're actually trained as a psyoperative. So they, they're very different. And they've got this big floating ball of psionic energy floating over their soldier. That's, that's the psyop. Yeah, actually, they are. Around his very body. cool. Uh, we'll, we'll see that in action in the course of, uh, of today's playthrough. Not to worry. So. We've got uh, Zoltan Cosmos, the return of Zoltan Cosmos as, as our first high soldier. The second guy, uh, who we will rename in a second, he is he is a serious psi operative, and I will show you why. In just wow, a here. look at he him! He is fully side out. Yeah. So he has everything. Good old good old Leaf Spook Jacobson. We need a new name for him yeah, too. Yeah, I do so psi. Gonna... Psi is very good. I do psi. I love doing psi. I do sigh all over you, okay? I, I break you to pieces with my sigh. So, um, so uh, yeah, he's got all the abilities, which is cool. You can actually, as a psi operative, uh, there's no limit to the number of abilities you can learn. You just have to study. Um, it, it's, it's, you can study every single ability. It just takes a very, very long time. So, and he is also a magus, but obviously you can continue to study well past that. Oh my goodness, he's got such fun. Here's, here's, here's one. I love this, this one right here by the Ice Sovereign. Oh yeah, Gargamel Fizzle Branch. That's, yep. that's, we got it. We got that's it right somebody's D&D, uh, &D. that was on somebody's Trapper Keeper. Uh, the Adventures of Gargamel Fizzle Branch. I like it. Third Order of the Black Claw. Gargamel, who can, who can argue with this? Fizzle he's branch. pretty handsome. He's, I like, uh, yeah, he's got the sunglasses. So he's the guy who walks into the bar and he's like, hello, I'm, uh, I'm Gargamel Fizzlebranch. And everybody's like, you're the most interesting man in here. All right, so, uh, so we've got our two side soldiers renamed. Let's take a second and let's talk about, uh, let, let's come up with a name for somebody who's not here. And we'll actually work this into our contest for the art book. So Garth DeAngelis, yeah, your Garth. producer, is actually out on the road right now. He is, he is. Uh, there he is. Oh, look at oh, that, is. look at that. What a stuffed shirt he looks like there, doesn't he? He just, and he come, you know, everybody knows this, or maybe nobody knows this, but Garth is, uh, he's an incredible lead producer. He's been the producer of XCOM and, um, for years, and he's sort of, uh, you know, he's, he's, my, he's my right hand man. You know, he's always keeping me in line. Um, and he comes from the world, the magical world of finance, uh, before he joined game development. So, but he's got an artist soul. You know, he's, he was in a band, you know. He's, he, he's a man, he's a renaissance man. He he's is, he's talents. finance, band, and now he's, uh, he's, a, he's a pretty great uh, producer, so. So, um, we, we will, you guys, however, if you were going, if you got Garth as a soldier in XCOM and you had to give him a nickname. Yeah, I had to give him a nickname. What nickname would you give him? Right. And the winner of the best nickname for Garth will be our winner of the art book. Yes, yes. You will win the signed art book, which will be signed by members of the team and, and hot off the presses. Uh, we'll be happy to send that to you. And it's, it's a great, it's a great uh, book. We're happy to give it to you. Uh, but all you have to do is name 
Name a uh, good Indian old Garth. XCOM soldier. Good Lord, did he, he? It looks like he dyed his hair red in that picture. That is not. I. That's. I think that's either. You photoshopped. You've, or, aged him, you've aged him. Yeah. You've aged him. He's yeah. Like, it's true. I. I have too. I, I. I will tell everybody out there. I'm getting tired of the comparisons to Central that I'm getting. You know, the old man. <laughs> I think he's fifty something. So you know, it's true. This game oh, ages all of us. Man. Yeah, you're gonna have to pick a name out of chat here. There's so many good ones. Oh yeah, all right. Up, all right, let, let me here. let me take a look at these so, here, so and, and gonna, Pete's gonna. Go through in a minute. All right, so let's. Uh, we're back in the game now. No right. soul. I like that. Um, some of these are uh, probably not G-rated. They would push us right into uh, AO. Yeah, um, yeah. So we, we can't we can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't. I'm afraid to say some of these because they may mean things on Urban Dictionary that I don't understand. <laughs> what does that mean? It's entirely possible. Ham doctor, what does that even? Um, G-man, G-man's good. Burgermeister, I, I don't know. I, I like it. Garth Vader is very strong. Very strong. That's a that's a good contender. Yeah, bastard of muscles, <laughs> or the professor. Neither of them makes sense, and that's why I like them. Okay, go go ahead with it. I like it. Oh man, that's good. All right, so while Jake's uh, while Jake's filtering through that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do some uh, some quick checking in the armory to to see what kinds of improvement we're gonna send our guys on a mission. Actually, for a second, Terrence uh, warned me that this has actually been on easy difficulty, so I am going to up the difficulty level from rookie to legend. Yeah, legend. Do it. Can't enable tutorial on. Yeah, that's fine. Do you wish to do this? Yes, I do. This is going to be regrettable very quickly. All right, let's see what we've got in terms of soldiers. So we've got uh, Sultan Cosmos and Gargamel Fizzlebranch, who are pretty good. Our Ranger, Harry Jolson, he's uh, he's ready to go right here. Did you here. say Harry Jolson? Johnson. Okay, all right. I, Johnson. I like Harry Jolson, but yeah. Have you uh, have you picked a nickname? For I have not. I have oh, not. Gosh. They're just they're just so good. They're all so good. We There's can, we can Snuggle Lord. Snuggle Lord. Yeah. I can't. I wouldn't have thought of that. No. No. All right. Um, oh, go back to my soldiers real quick. So we've got Harry. We've got a captain specialist that's really good with some of her abilities real fast. <laughs> good. She's a medic. She's set up. Yep. And uh, uh, that's, that's going to be good to have in the hand, too, especially because we're going to take a lot of damage. Uh, let's see. We've got a heavy. Jeez. That's great. Good. Got a good set of abilities there too. Oh, I actually have I have this same name, different nickname, but in my current playthrough right now, I have Igor Solyovov. Solyov. I'm anyway. This guy is actually in my playthrough as well. Cannot too. afford multiple nicknames. We will share. <laughs> I share nickname. You have yeah, and Aiden Doyle, T Bone. Yeah, the classic Irish nickname T-Bone. There we are. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Zoltan needs uh, personal combat. So I, I, you know, I don't want to give him advanced will. He's already so willful. He almost doesn't need it. Um, let's go ahead and we'll give him speed. Yes, that's, that's good. You know what? Will of 99. I've got the nickname. You got I the nickname. Okay. I love it. Okay. Who? First it's, of all, it, do you want to know the user? Or do you want to know the name? I need to know the. Uh, okay, so what is the nickname? The nickname is Big Short. Big Short. I like that. And it is by Dr. That's by Dr. Montalban. Okay, so Doc, here's how you get in touch with us. So if you want to send us a whisper, uh, that's slash W for Axis Games uh, with your contact information, that would be awesome. Or you can click on the gear on our profile. Uh, to send us a direct message as well. We'll be in touch with you after the show, get yep. your pertinence, and send you an art book signed by the team. And uh, feel free to send a social security number and credit card number, That's, bank accounts, That's uh, not necessary, email. Jake. Thanks very much. <laughs> I appreciate that you're uh, concerned, but uh, not to worry, we have secured funding through other means. I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, give Gargamel here the, uh, yeah, the, uh, they're all so nice. Everybody on chat is saying like, you know, GG and grats and you guys are all so nice to each other. I think we have one of the nicest chats out there because uh, there's 
there's one person saying get them, but um, <laughs> but for the most part, you guys are so nice. They are, they are. Okay. And then somebody says, Jake, you dirtbag. So you know what? I, you guys are, you guys are angels, truly. Yeah, that's, okay. Thanks, guys. Well, Jake, thank you for picking somebody. Um, I know you're going to have to bolt out at some point. Uh, I am, but I want to see, I want to see how you use the dual maguses, dual mag, mag, magi. Magi, magi. Right. That's the plural of magus. Um, so let's quick, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and load up everybody's gun while we're here. Uh, Zoltan. Um, oh man, you know look what? at you all those Actually, superiors. I'm not going to give him all the, uh, all no, the superiors. Because don't give your be, stuff to, to maguses. He's killing people with the power of his mind. That's right. So we're gonna do we're gonna do weapon upgrade here, and uh, yeah, I love I love increased clip size on shotguns because that's great. And then um, hair trigger that is awesome. Good old Harry Harry Jones Harry Jones okay. Harry Jones. You know what? Let's just move on. All right, so um, we are moving on. All right, Jane Carpenter, she's our our medic and our support. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give her the advanced stock on that, and then. Is this le legit gear that you picked up, Terrence? Is this over the course of a playthrough, or did you just cheat this stuff in there? Uh, yeah. You picked it up? All right, good yeah. stuff, man. Yeah. You, no, did well. you have Vulture? There, there's a special perk you guys can get that actually makes the, yeah, okay, so Terrence had Vulture, he knows what he's doing. So um, it's a perk that, that you can buy in the uh, Guerrilla Tactics School, and that makes enemies drop more loot. Um, so if you really want to get your hands on good stuff, you, you got to buy that. It is it is definitely a huge huge help on uh, on picking up loot and getting getting stuff going up there. Wow, a superior laser sight. Yeah, that's strong. That is strong. Yeah. Um, and we actually have enough resources, so um, uh, that we we're going to be able to upgrade some weapons too. So actually, I, I wanted to touch on that real quick. You saw we had a conventional sniper rifle. Uh, a minute ago, hey, and we can go here uh, down to engineering. We visit with Lily and her her little buddy Rover. Rover, and, and we can go into weapons. And uh, one of the things that that this does is uh, these advanced launchers here upgrade everything that everybody carries. So all the heavies now, or all the grenadiers now, get the advanced grenade launcher. All the snipers. Yeah. The advanced golf rifle. Yeah, and, and that came on uh, basically the fact that you're tweaking all of your individual weapons so much with upgrades that it it became a, a much better idea to say, all right, when you buy something from engineering now, it auto upgrades every every weapon of that type because your weapons already very individual because of the upgrades. Right. So we'll go ahead and we will click. The Gauss. The Gauss rifle. The Gauss rifles. Gauss. They, they are huge. All right. So. Um, Let's go back. We are going to go launch into our mission. And we're going to go visit an alien facility and uh, take a ding out of the Avatar project here. Yeah, oh, yeah. see, these are fun. These are fun missions. So these are uh, sort of optional, although I, it's tough to make it through a play that are doing one of these. But, you know, the aliens, they have these facilities, and they are, they are working towards the aliens' ultimate objectives at these facilities. And so one way you can delay your almost sure doom uh, is to go in and sabotage these things. Um, and so Operation Gilded Slumber, that's a pretty strong op name. Um, so we're going to go in there and we're going to try and uh, bomb this, this alien facility. Very, very difficult mission. Lots of big, bad, powerful um, enemies. And then it's always good to have... Do we have any, uh, well, we got any, we got any rangers here? Rangers? We do, yeah, we do have a yeah. ranger. Yeah. What kind of ranger is uh, old Captain Johnson? Captain Johnson here. Pitbull. Worldwide! Um, Miami! Alright, so soldier abilities. He is, he, he's, uh, he's an assault guy. I mean, he's going to come out and he's going to hit people with the stick. Okay, alright, so he's not going to conceal. So, so it's not, sometimes when you're taking out facilities, it's nice to go in with some stealth, uh, some somebody with the conceal ability, because then they can sort of sneak up and place the bomb. But we're just going to go in guns blazing. We have two Psy soldiers. We're going to go in and we're going to melt mines. That's true. Mines will be melted. All right. It is, the one thing I should point out is it's very difficult to have two Maguses in a game because you have to buy a second cell for them to train in. It's very expensive, very costly. And so to get two Maguses like this, um, we're kind of kind of ahead of the curve here. It would be difficult to, to pull this feed off, but um, we're going to do it. We're going to show you because we want to show you what uh, what they can do. That's the kind of that's the kind of thing we have here. Look so, at them. It looks like Siegfried and Roy there, you know? Yeah, Look yeah. on. They're like 
their hair is so wavy. You right. can imagine there's this wind that only they experience that right. pushes their luscious locks aside. All right, um, we've got some cool stuff here. We've got some incendiary rounds on uh, on our, on Ethan's here rifle, and we've got. Uh, That's a big gun. Look yeah, at that thing. Look at him admiring it too, and uh, lo looks like talent rounds. Uh, we've got, yeah, yeah, it looks like we've got talent rounds on the uh, on Harry. He's going to be all ready to go. So. And that's a great choice. The talent rounds are a great choice for for a ranger because with that uh, shard gun, you're going to be doing lots of crit if you hit. So yeah, it's yeah. Good stuff. And then the arc blade again, uh, more damage as he gets up close. That's good. That means he's going to have an easier time. Uh, Finishing off some of those enemies that he's going to be coming up against. And everybody's going to do the walk up to the, uh, up to the Sky Ranger. My Grenthal Hammer. <clears throat> That's a very timely reference. It is, it is. Squad green to deploy. I love him, I miss him. So, uh, my uh, current playthrough, I actually haven't built the Scilab yet. I, um, I, I cranked up the difficulty a little higher than the last time I played, and yeah. it's, it's always been a case of, gosh, that's something I'd like to do, but... It's difficult. You know, resistance comps sure seems like a good idea. Yeah, it is definitely, it's expensive, it takes a long time, it just is a, you really have to commit to it, and then when you do, you get this great reward, because they can be very, very powerful units, but it is, it's very difficult to actually, especially on the higher difficulties, to pull off building that at a time early enough in your game, so. Where you're gonna be able to have somebody who could afford to spend you know, yeah. 10 days at a time right. sitting in a room thinking very deep thoughts about. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty, and it's a risk, I mean building it's a risk because you're definitely putting your strategy game at risk when you're not uh, advancing some of the more important facilities, the non-optional facilities. So. All okay. right. I love that purple glow, okay, Central's letting us know where we need to go to plant the bomb. Okay, so uh, we've got Gargamel here. Um, I'm actually gonna let Harry uh, lead the way a bit, so. Good copy, moving on target. And I know, I know we're in we've concealment, but. Styles. Oh, yeah. wow. All right, so okay. there are gonna be a lot, of, a lot of enemies, a lot of enemies on this map. Obviously, the, uh, the aliens are going to protect their their facilities, which are helping them mm -hmm. uh, win the game. So they, these are heavily, heavily guarded facilities. All right. So, um, and that's that's quite a quite a group of people to open up with. All right. So um, let's see. Zoltan's going to come up. And in some ways, yeah, you don't want to see mechs because they've got that. You know, well, the robots mechs. are naturally resistant to to a lot of things the Psy can do. But of course, not entirely. The Psy soldier has a lot of different tools. Um, that at, they can at use. his disposal, he does, or she does, that's for sure. Okay, T-Bone, you're going to come up. Oh, let's, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm being really cautious here, but I, I, I think have it cranked wise. up to, uh, have it cranked up to uh, legendary difficulty, and so I'm not, wise. I'm not quite as uh, confident in my abilities as Mark was last week. Closing on target position now. And everybody who has seen me play before is like, yeah, with good cause, you're not confident. Um, I believe in you, Pete. I believe I'll have another drink. Um, yeah, okay, so here's, here's Gargamel now. And uh, I want to get, I, I want to get out here in, uh, in some cover here. Come on, Igor, you can do it. Orders confirmed, on the move. Somebody asked, can you explode the grenades on the mech? Oh, I think we will. Somebody has been doing advanced research. Somebody, somebody has been reading, reading a lot. So we'll, uh, we'll let these guys, we'll see where that patrol goes. Okay, come here, Gargamel. You go there. That's affirmative. Forward! So, so we Fizzle could, branch! We could, uh, I could set everybody on Overwatch and I could, uh, I could fuse them up right now. That might be a little exciting. Yeah, that'd be a good way to start an ambush. Okay, so we've got, can I, let's see, a fuse. Yep, that is definitely gonna, oh, but. Oh, it's not gonna, not gonna nuke his friends, but they'll, they'll go running, they'll go running and you can. Yeah, you know what, you know what, maybe I'll hold on, I'll hold on to fuse for the time being. Let's, uh, let's do So some. fuse, what, what Pete was looking at there, this, this is a fun one, and basically, the Sire has the ability to detonate any explosives on enemy units 
Um, as long as the enemy unit is carrying an explosive, if they have an explosive attack, the Psy Operative can detonate those explosives before they're even used. And so, mechs, they've got missiles that they can fire, and the, uh, uh, the Psy Operative can basically just detonate those things on the mech's back, doing damage to the mech and everybody around him. So, it's, it's, it's a fun ability. And, and also you can even detonate them on dead bodies, yeah, which is no, great. Yeah, that's no, the, that's the real joy, is, you know, when somebody runs up next to a dead muton that, that hasn't had its grenade explode yet. And that's you're right. Like, oh, remember those grenades he was carrying? Surprise! So I'm gonna let I'm I'm gonna fizzle branch. Yeah. Every time he moves the fizzle branch, beware the fizzle branch. That's the way I picture. I I you know it seems reasonable. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up our both of our side guys are gonna sneak up the side here. I know it looks like the patrols kind of pathing. So I would right now. never ever do that because what happened here is that what what Pete did, which. Maybe a fine strategy is that Pete put his two uh, Maguses. Never touch Maguses, kids. That's what I'm saying here. Is that like they should never be close together because because they are so valuable. They are worth their all of Terrence's work to gather these Maguses for us. May maybe for not, but I think Pete will pull it out. But the um, no pressure. I, I no find pressure, myself Pete. like I hunker them down. They are worth their weight in gold. Like they can't get wounded. Like it always. You've invested so much into these Psy operatives that I, I protect them well, the way I don't protect other soldiers. Uh, I think the other soldiers probably resent it after a while, probably, because the, yeah. the Psy ops get babied. But. Well, the, the patrol has kind of been pathing away from us, so I'm, I'm counting on them to move away, and, and I think we're just going have to have to jump that. Oh, yeah, it looks like we're fine. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're kind of... there's Okay, so... Uh, where's Harry? All right. All right, here's Harry. All right, so, oh, let's see. Interesting. Well, you don't want him to get too far, and yeah, you don't want to run into two groups at once. Yeah, and I, I don't, yeah, maybe I do want to. All right, the facility's that way. So there's, there's definitely going to be patrols as we move on. All right, I'll move Harry up here. He's in a little better position. Can you at least see one of them? Yeah. And then I'm... Well, the good part is that shard gun is, uh, is pretty pretty good at hitting stuff. Oh, shard gun's great. Uh, but probably, probably move these guys over on the flank too far. I think you were right, Jake. I apologize. And we do have a, a sight in on the shield bearer, so that's... We need to blow over watch. We didn't do that. Uh, man. Tough choices here. Yeah, Tough choices. Well, you know what? It's this big open cover area, or this big lack of cover area yeah. right here. And, and, and lots of low and, cover. And lots of low cover. That's no good. It's, yeah. So yeah. there's been a few questions in chat about uh, multiplayer. Yes. So we're going to have more to talk about that soon but generally it works the way it does in enemy unknown right it's, yeah it's it does kind of like a sandbox yeah mode yep it's um oh. so we do have security systems here at Firaxis that do like to update our uh, our computers from time to time and uh, I'm gonna yeah. try to get this off the, off the screen for us here yeah. okay so, yeah. Um, Yes, we take our safety very seriously. Yeah, so multiplayer works like um, like it did in Enemy Unknown. I mean, the, the big thing is that you have procedural maps now, which makes a really big difference. And, of course, all the new enemies and the new um, soldiers. It's actually um, a lot easier to get into. Um, we use, like, more... There are just a few soldier builds, and so it's a lot easier to sort of look at what options you have uh, it's point driven, so you know you get a pool of points, and then you can pay those points to whatever you want, uh, build whatever squad you want, and so you can create some pretty interesting, interesting uh, squads. But multiplayer is pretty similar to Enemy Unknown. All right, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something Roger super that. risky here and end my turn with my mages in half cover. I'm, I'm to Overwatch. Oh. Damn it, did I miss the opportunity to yell fizzle branch at the top of my Yeah, you, you pretty much did. But that's good, because you were telling everybody about multiplayer, so that's right. fine. So um, one of the things we've seen is that as, uh, as one of our mages, magi are moving here, there's kind of this flash that happens, which is um, he's got kind of, a, kind of a passive ability that he's, uh, 
he's got going on that that sort of inspires everybody around him. So, yeah, and right. uh, you know he can kind of help clear uh, mental statuses. So if somebody's you know confused or or or, or panicked, you know, even control, unconscious, yeah. yeah, he can he basically walks over there and says, "Be calm, for I am here." Yeah. So Gargamel Gargamel can do that too, and and that's pretty useful as well. All right. So Jake, I think I should have. Uh, I think I should have jumped this team earlier Where on. Where are they? Are they gone? They're, they're, they're gone. Oh, dear. So I, th I think they're over here somewhere. So here's a good chance for me to... Uh, Go get them, Pitbull. Yeah, Pitbull's, Pitbull's chasing them down. So Zoltan Cosmos will come over here. Ah, oh, there they are. Oh, man, they're so, just walking so, away, huh? So I, I, oh, I have a couple of really cool abilities I could use here. I could use... This is a neat one. This is Null Lance. I love it. So we could, we could Null Lance uh, these guys right here. That would be uh, Null Lance. It's a linear attack, does a lot of damage, um, passes right through armor. Passes through multiple units, uh, armor, passes through cover. It just basically is this beam of destruction that passes through the level. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we, we could do that. Um, and in fact, that might be a good way to... to does a lot of damage, yeah. Ambush. Um, and, you know, as you upgrade your, your Psyamp, the, the weapon that the uh, Psy operative carries, then you do more and more damage. So, so yeah, that's, that's pretty that's deadly. Pretty, pretty deadly. All right, I'm going to... Good copy. It's half cover, but I am wholly confident in my ability to... This is it? That. You're going to set up the yeah, ambush? We're going to do it? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So no fear, Pete. I, I fear nothing. Fear's the mind killer. Kill some mines here. <clears throat> All right, um, I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep Gargamel on uh, on reserve here, just in case we need to do something. And let's go ahead and we will null lance over this way. No one is here it goes. By the power of Zoltan. No, Bam, that's what I'm talking there. about. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And you, you notice it got all but one of the uh, yep. hit points down. So somebody's asked if you can do a whole mission in concealment. Have you ever done a whole mission in concealment? It is impossible. Well, yeah, it's, it's pretty much impossible because you, you couldn't kill the enemies without... You could have one soldier potentially remain in concealment, but... Mm -hmm. um, Completing mission objectives can reveal you. Obviously, pulling off any type of attack uh, can reveal you. Jump through windows, kicking open doors. There are a lot of things that can reveal you, so it actually is impossible to do an entire mission in concealment, which isn't to say that if you didn't have the right squad makeup or if you used the right hack awards, you couldn't put your squad in concealment multiple times throughout the mission. But right. Yeah. Okay. But basically, you're always going to get, once you get to the objective, a lot of times by completing objective, the soldier who completes it will be revealed. Cool. Um, so, or the squad will be revealed. So yeah, there's no way to do the entire mission in consume. And that's because, you know, we obviously, we, you know, we talked about that and played around with that, but it's not, XCOM's not a stealth game, it's a combat game. Um, and so I think having a unit that specializes in, in concealment stuff is great, but, um, uh, beyond that, um, I think that uh, really this is more about combat and tactics. So we didn't want to extend that to the entire mission. So a couple of cool things happened um, on that, on the Overwatch shots. The, uh, the snipers got the incendiary rounds, actually set that Advent officer on fire. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use uh, Void Rift here, which is tons of fun. Um, it's definitely going to take out that mech trooper, uh, that mech there, and it's going to do quite a bit to that officer, so that with the burning, they should go down in the next turn or two. So that'll be fun. All right. Easy little brunch! There we go. Now, um, and Power that... Power overwhelming! It does damage, and then also, and yeah, of course, then the captain burned to death. That is a, that is a horrible end. It's, yeah. XCOM has a dark heart. It does. The, and so, if, if the enemy stayed there, then that would also do... Um, a lot more damage on the next turn and then you, you, it can also in fact it can actually uh, confer status effects onto enemy, enemy, uh, any enemies uh, inside void rift as well so you could potentially end up mind controlling everybody inside of void rift so yeah it's a really powerful very powerful late game ability it's a lot of fun in multiplayer too 
does not. And you do see it does have a pretty substantial cooldown. Um, I used it there more or less as a glorified grenade. That was kind of a waste, but I also don't care. So um, don't see any enemies real quick because we have a little bit of a break. I'm going to go ahead and reload some of these low capacity weapons because I always seem to run out of ammo. At, at, at the worst times. At the time. worst times. And then uh, no Lance is, uh, is cooling down as well too. Um, I could, yeah, how far how far out does Inspire go? Oh, I can pick oh, a specific pretty far. trooper. Yeah. yeah, Inspire's great. Inspire, you are you basically confer one of your own actions as the Psy operative uh, to another soldier. And so you can basically boost them by just granting them a, a free so action, copy. which is very, very useful to, to use the Psy operative sort of as a uh, support. So, for example, we'll just uh, we'll use that. So we just had our, our heavy here. Uh, Jack ran up, so we can use... Inspire on, oh no, on Jack Lee Together here, he says, find it within yourself. I am with He's you. Like, I get it. He's like, I see, sir. It's all clear now. It's kind of like the cooperative as a motivational speaker. Exactly. You can do it. You can. So, um, we, we tested this out earlier today. There were some, uh, some enemies inside the facility, so I'm pretty sure as we kick down the door, we'll find something uh, sufficiently beefy inside. Oh, like, for example, this turret. Um, it, it, so then there's, there's a question here. Do, you know, do side attacks have a chance to uh, misfire? Um, and it depends. Certain Psy abilities have a chance of success based on the target's will, um, but uh, you're not going to miss with certain things like no Lance. So some things are considered um, area of effect attacks and they're not going to miss. Mm -hmm. um, they do have, Void Rift of course can, can confer mind control and, and different status effects. There's a chance that those will occur. There's a chance that if you go to try and dominate someone um, which is a sort of permanent mind control, a very powerful ability. There's a chance that, that will succeed based on the target's will and based on your Psy offense. So some of them have chances, um, some of them don't. And then there's a question about whether or not Psy ops are, are vulnerable to certain attacks. And no, they don't have any sort of inherent uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, I think they are, um, they're just sort of, um, you just, they're vulnerable in the sense that their training takes so long that they really, they suffer more from wounding than um, other soldiers. And so in that sense, them taking damage is really painful. It's very painful. And so um, it can really set you back. And so they're vulnerable in the sense that when they take damage, that's a real setback. So you have to be particularly careful with your Psy operatives. Right. Um, I have this, I have this uh, stupid turret Moving on top out. of this building and, and I need to do something about it. So it looks like old Jack Lee there has Shredder. So Jack does have Shredder. One of my favorite things to do. Oh, what did? Oh, I misclicked. Oh, I misclicked. Everybody say goodbye to Jack Lee. Oh. Who, uh, you were. Oh uh, no. Everybody say goodbye to Pete Murray. I everybody. Think. Oh, this is okay. Um, no, you know what? I have two Magi. That's I can, true. I have That's two true. Magi. They will always pull you out of they, near almost anything. They will totally pull me my bacon out of this out of this fire this is there's nothing wrong with what's happening here sure thing diesel branch so one one thing i can do is i can use i can use inspire that fizzle branch has and i can use it on jack lee and i can kind of half undo one of the mistakes i made that's true that would be that would be yeah, pretty useful so yeah uh, let's do that yeah inspire is kind of good for undoing mistakes Okay. Yeah, that's good. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. I always like that's to great. think that too much inspiring kind of, you know, messes with their head at some point, you know? Well, like, you know, but then, then, then they, they lose situations. a couple of IQ points every time you inspire them. Well, so. they end up in situations that they, that they can't actually do and they think right. they can. So, you know, somebody's wounded and they're like, I can fix this. I'm, I'm a trained surgeon. And you're like, no, no, you're not. And they're like, wait, wait, I can do it. I stayed at a... All right, so we've, right, got, so we've got that's a grenadier. Uh, I wonder, actually, I didn't think about 
One of my favorite things to do with, with turrets on top of buildings is to knock a floor out underneath them. Kill them when and they then, fall. And then kills them when they fall, but it doesn't... Oh. If we had bought that upgraded grenade launcher, oh Pete, what Once happened? again, once again... Do not, uh, oh. Once again. Uh, that, tree. Tree. that tree, take that tree, take that. National Arbor Day. Yes, we've come here to destroy all wildlife and see how you aliens like that. All right, well, let's see. We've got, we've got some interesting abilities over here. We do have, uh, I can use insanity. I got stasis. That's some, uh, so soul fire is a, is a guaranteed um, attack on an organic target. So yep. it, it does plenty of damage to that viper. Uh, stasis is fun. It sort of takes them out of the equation for a turn. You can also use that defensively. Yeah. Um, if you got somebody hanging out there in space. Um, yeah, stasis is good. Stasis basically, it takes a tough enemy and it, it basically, it, they lose a turn, but they are also immune to any damage. So you're going to have to deal with them next turn at full strength, but at least they won't operate for, for, uh, for one turn, which okay. can help you. So uh, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, I'm going to try insanity and see, uh, are you unwell? see what we get going on. And then, ins yeah, insanity potentially. That's yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so a very there strong result there. Um, so now that unit took damage because insanity was upgraded, but that unit is also mind controlled for a number of turns here, which is very, very useful. Now we can do something with that viper. Like, first of all, we're gonna get Jack out of out of out of dodge here. All right, so Harry's ready to go. Harry's got his choice of targets here. Oh, don't shoot your own mind-controlled guy, although you could if you wanted to. Um, and that Archon's still a bit away. I've got... Oh boy, Archons are... They're trouble. They're got, trouble. Especially on Legendary. I've got Run and Gun, which would get me over here, although that's only half cover and wouldn't get me to actually... Boy, I could end up in a lot of trouble doing that. Let's do that! Let's do it! Let's do that! Here I go. Solid copy. Nice. And so this is Pitbull has Talon rounds. Right. So I'm. Um, it's not giving me flanking on on the Archon. No, the Archon is doesn't take cover. Cannot be flanked. And so you would probably wreck that Viper um, if you hit. Mm. Well, you know, you know, it was reasonable playing the odds. All right. You know. Now we've got. Uh, uh, well, well, let's see what they do with their mind-controlled buddy here. Let's see what we do. So the Archon the AI sometimes will point out what it is they want to do, and so the yep. Archon just kind of identified the Viper as a target here. Yep. Which I'm okay with. I'm totally all right. With sometimes that. it's useful, but instead the Archon. It's a, oh yeah, that's the worst thing. So yeah, the Archon is getting ready to boom, lay down some fire. So now he's launched some mortars into the air. Um, so which as long we'll, as everybody moves, uh, we should be fine, right? That's right. As long as oh look at that, she had to shoot her own sister, pod clone. sister, yeah, clone cousin. It's terrible. Let's see what the uh... I need a oh yeah yeah. I deserved that. Right. I did. And then, what are we doing here? Oh, oh dear. Yeah, this is, um, this is a great. And, and Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay. Right, so, so, so we're and we're gonna solve some problems here. AI is doing Overwatch because Pete is in a situation where he's really forced, he's forced to run. So those mortars are away and they're coming down next turn. So kind of got to move. All right, well, let's see what we can let's see. Oh, you know what we can do? Where's my, where's my, where's my friend? I can bring my friend over here. That's right. Here. That's what we call burning the Overwatch shot. Yes, there we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh look at oh, that. Oh, And you, she survived. Would you believe that? That's look awesome. That. that was, that was pretty good. And then, uh, she can't see the, uh, she can't see the Archon. Right. And, uh. Go ahead and we'll take that shot. Oof, that armor, yeah, that armor is, is tough. Just Legendary? Whose idea was that? That was a terrible idea. Terrible. Terrible. All right, let's... Uh... The Archon is high, high up in the air, 
floating in the air. So what I could do is, well, I don't want to end up next to an exploding car. That would be, that would be bad. Let's see, if I, if I move here, where is that Archon? I actually don't see him. Let's see if we get one side. Oh, you know what? Whoa, directly, straight above you. Directly above. All right, that's well, a, that's okay, because if I shift over... It's a view few people see. Yeah, if I shift over here... Do, 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 do. Let's see what we got. Yep, we still have visibility, and I can try and send a 43%. Mm, it's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Fuse work? No, nope, fuse is only going to work on the that guy. What about soul fire? Guaranteed soul fire cyanic damage. Guaranteed damage, but not enough to... Might bring him down. I could... St uh, stasis... Stasis yeah. might be interesting. Just uh, solve that problem for one turn. Well, the bombs are still going to fall. That's true. All right, well, we'll take a soul fire shot then. Do it. We've got to get rid of that Archon, because the problem is when Archons get mad, they get something called Battle Frenzy, and then they start really wrecking shop. Then they start flying around and doing all kinds of melee damage. They get three actions, so they become really, really... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Jake. That's the that's, worst uh, thing that could have really, happened. I'm really happy that, that, that this happened. I'm going. So now... So now i got to shift over here, right. and I have to use a pistol shot. Right. Pew! Oh, hey, that's but, actually you know, great. You know, once you start upgrading those, those pistols and those assault rifles, they, you know... They and make you must difference. have incendiary rounds, because now the Archon's burning. Yes, I do. I, so in that's fact, good. this guy does. That's yeah, a, when you carry pistols, if you're a gunslinger, your, your pistols will get the same rounds that your, your sniper rifle does. So it's nice as a sharpshooter to, to carry uh, specialized ammo. And we're going to soul fire again, just because that is a guaranteed hit. Right. Let's get it. Hadouken! Yeah. It is, it is hard, to, hard to overstate how... How valuable things like soul, like guaranteed damage attacks, especially on higher difficulties, those are so valuable when you don't have to play the numbers yeah. game, basically. Yeah. All right, and we're gonna fall back here a little bit. I guess that will be okay. So, uh, haven't done much sabotaging yet. Uh, doing a lot of surviving, but. Um, you know what? I'm I'm pleased with the progress. That right. I haven't lost anybody in the first. Two aliens I've run across. That's right. That's progress. All right, so. Run, Jack. Be, yeah, Jack's got to run here. Um, yeah, don't run to the propane tank, Jack. That would be bad. Uh, and unfortunately, that Ooh, Archon Tough call, and so that high. turret's hanging out there somewhere, so. Yeah, so I, I, I kind of. So it's telling me this is high cover, but I'm worried about the pinions blasting the car. Causing, <laughs> I, I was causing causing. I wasn't going to say anything, but um, thanks, Jake. I appreciate that. Yeah, but I was. Um, so we got another question about inspire. Yeah, somebody asked if if a soldier can use all their actions, then get inspired, and then shoot. And the answer is correct. That can happen. That can absolutely happen. All right. So. Jack isn't going to shoot. He's just going to, we're going to get out of the ring. Of the it turrets. may look like Pete's running away. I mean, that may be what you're thinking here. That may be what it appears. But this is all part. It is uh, It is part of a plan. Part of a well-conceived plan. So I've got two aliens that I've got eyes on. All right. Oh, really not going to be able to hit a Viper at 38%, given that I can't hit one at 66 so you do the old choppy choppy. Are you within dash range of the Viper? No, I'm, there? I'm only within range of my Viper. Oh well, uh, that doesn't help. Doesn't no. That's really not not ideal at all. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pull back to here and I'm going to try. Stepping off. Brave, brave Sir Robin. Yeah. All right, and here's Blazing Pinions. That's gonna, that's gonna come There we out. go. Uh, Viper's off mind control. Did you notice that he just dropped down? He's still burning. That's great. The uh, Archon is still burning, yeah. so it's gonna have a limited ability to to act here. But um, I'm to, quite happy about. Now we're waiting to find out what happens with our second Viper. Oh, I'll see. 
Well, he's close and he's swinging. Yeah, wow. so the Archon does a fair amount of damage with that staff. Yeah. We have lost mind control of our Viper pet. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, this is not. Okay, well, nobody's dead yet. Nobody's, nobody's dead, dead yet. yet. Yep, no, this is, this is that's fun. The, Still that's manageable. the battle Still. cry of the... Of the XCOM team, yeah. Right. Is that a crit? Yes. That was a critical hit. Yep, that's, oh, that's fine. That's some bad luck. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So, um... Okay. Okay, it's fine. We're good. We're still good, right? Everything is fine. We um, have a fully loaded Magus. Still free. So, uh, we're... we're She's in a branch! You could potentially, uh, you could potentially no Lance both of them with Old Fizzle. Uh, I think, is no Lance off cooldown? On Old Fizzle, I believe so. Yes. Oh, you're right. So you, they may be in enough of a line. Oh, look at look that. Look at that. Look at that. And this is where the Magus... Do it, Jake. Say Fizzle Branch. Fizzle Branch! Now that, that, that is why PsyOps can be so valuable. And look at that. He saves Zoltan. He's like, Zoltan, do you doubt my abilities? Oh, and look at that. The Viper drops Ooh, some loot. Two Illyrium cores. Which is very valuable. They're gonna kick that, kick kick that, that body out of the way. And be like, get out of here. No time for this. That's great. I That's turned fantastic. around. Turned around on a heartbeat. We've you got did. that viper over there. You did. Well, we're gonna shoot that. Actually, we're gonna. Let's. Is there something? Oh, I could. A domination, but you only get one use of that on a mission. Yeah. And that's your, that's your mind control right there. So yeah. we'll instead, we'll be like. It's a it's a mission permanent mind control, which is very very useful. And it, it's interesting because you kind of have to weigh that about. Obviously, your chances to dominate a weaker enemy are much better. Right. Um, but what you really want to do is grab somebody really powerful. Um, and, uh, but that's, that's obviously risky, so. Yeah, yeah. Always kind of weighing that. Now Pitbull, oh, uh, Pitbull can't, can't Pit, slash. Pitbull can't slash. I mean, I could, I could do something stupid, like move up out of cover and then try shotgunning. But you'd be like, Pete, that's stupid. And I'd be like, when oh, no, has that no. ever stopped me? Look, this thing, this mission's going all right, actually. Well, we got a car that's going to explode. I think we've uncovered at least an eighth of the enemies on the board, so yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, and, and I only have half my squad wounded. Affirmative. Moving out. That's, uh, I that's think progress. we're actually behind where we started. <laughs> actually, yes, I think we we've actually made negative Geographically, progress. we are actually, yeah. actually losing ground here, but that's okay. It's all part of a very strategic and tactical um, plan. That's right. Yeah. I, thank you, Jake. You're welcome on any time you want. So what is my... I, 43%. My God. Really? I can't... Ah. The run and gun didn't work. Not great cover. and I, You couldn't throw a grenade to, to blast her cover away, I don't think. But. I, if, here, if I move up, it's... Maybe? Maybe? Oh, no. No. I'm going to take that shot. 51% is practically 100 Hmm. Practically 100%. Something no wrong with the RNG. Yeah. There she is. She's pointing. She's calling them out. Boom. So there's a... Never hunger behind burning cars, kids. That's right. Oh, missed. Man, missed. everybody is wanting to just wrap up old... Zoltan must be like... He's a huggable guy. Catnip for snakes. He's a hugger and a huggy. Zoltan's musk is undeniable to snakes. Uh, catnip for snakes is probably a phrase that's never been uttered in the English language before Worst today. thing to be, actually, I would say. It's, uh, it's an impressive, impressive Let's see if Harry can, Harry can solve our snake problem. Yeah. There we go. Run. Escape. Jump. Ah, yeah. Oh, she dodged it, She too. dodged it, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, it wasn't. No, never is. Never is. I forgot to bring you medic on this mission. I just took the default team. That's uh, that's really great. That makes me happy. 77%. Let's go ahead and roll. Oh, oh goodness. So this is an, uh, another fun trick to play is a, um, a stealth uh, ranger combined with... Uh, 
with a sniper on Overwatch. Yeah. That is very powerful. That is a fun sharpshooter combination to, These to try are out. Very powerful. Um, I'm actually going to get Apparently. back here and we'll Overwatch. Let's see if comes up out of it this turn. Let's see, can T-Boat, ah, see the thing is, like, all of this cover is just... Yeah, especially so once uh, once the Archon starts nuking stuff. Now the problem, of course, is that Zoltan there, I believe, is in range of that turret. I don't know, is he? I guess he would be. Mm-hmm, and so... Oh, thanks for warning me. Well, let's see how... Uh, so, what I could do, I'm, I'm going to try to get a Grenadier up since... Uh, since I'm not going to, since this isn't my campaign, um, I'm going to... As long as there's nobody through that window, I'm sure you're fine. Nope. Okay, so um, there the is. There is a Muton. And a Shield Bearer. And an Advent Trooper. I'm sure there will be no negative consequences from this decision. None whatsoever. At all. Yeah. Okay. Well, this will be fun. This will be fun. All right, and Jack... Jack, you need Jack to is as far back as he could be. He's so like, Jack's, he's like, I'm gonna go check out stuff back here, guys. Yeah, you guys go in there. I think I heard on, a I super scary monster back here. So you guys don't worry, I will take care of it. Uh, yeah, you guys are good, right? It's all good, right? I tell you, Gargamel's been a rock star. He's yes, a little fizzy. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna save the day again. All right, let's see what happens over here. All right, so you tell him. Angling, angling, oh, and he's gonna suppressing, get yeah. which is a good move, actually. Yeah. And then troopers, troopers, and all they do is shoot. That's the problem with troopers. All they do is deal damage. So they're they're not as exciting ability-wise as the other units, but they are they're dangerous, especially on high difficulty. And uh, there we there go. The shield bearer. Right, and so now the shield bearer has beefed up. Oof, that's good. But what is Turk going to do with the second action? <clears throat> Nothing. That's Overwatch. good. Overwatch. That's good. All right. So, um, all right. So now. Oh, and I'm out of ammo here. That's really. What do you have? Oh, it's a free reload, though. Oh, that's good. You've got an auto loader, which is the best thing to put on a sniper. So. Yeah, I think I, we got to. We gotta take this. It's just. I mean, what are the odds, right? Yeah, seriously, you can't miss it four times. In a row. I think the odds. The odds are pretty good. The odds are. What difficulty are we playing on? This is terrible. Terrible. So, Gargamel's over here again. Oh my goodness, Jake! What am I gonna do? Um, you really. What am I gonna do? I think the problem is that you've got. Yeah. Uh, so I could I could sneak up and use my grenade to kind of underthrow and and drop that turret. Actually, yeah, you can do that. You get uh, get in the high cover. Shot here. All right, so we're going to use that grenade. We're going to come up here, and it's not going to let me. Oh, I it, just it will. Can't. You just gotta you gotta you gotta massage gotta it. Be sweet to it. Be sweet to it. Come on believe. now. I gotta believe. Oh dear. You're saying that. I think that tree's in the way. Gods are not smart. Oh, there it is. Wait, I don't know why. No, no, no that's cause just because it's, it's disappearing. It's yeah, no. Tree. Gods are not smiling. Well. Oh, my. There. God. Look at see, that. If he like, needs to, fizz and brunch. No, that's uh, that's Zoltan. Oh, yeah. Boo. All right, so uh, Zoltan's going to come up. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If they need to, Sobs can actually use their weapons. They, they disdain using, you know, actual physical uh, weaponry that's yeah, beneath they're, them. They're, However, they can if, if required. So, I can put a grenade in here. That would be pretty useful. I can't so at hit. least break suppression. Yeah, and, and actually I can't hit both the, uh, since, I, since I don't have vault to mix, I, I can't hit everybody in there, but could break suppression. That is some guaranteed damage and, and chip off some of the armor off that, that muton. That'd be pretty helpful. Pump Doom. up the launcher. Yep. Look at that. Yep. So now, um, got S somebody else can. Uh, good old Muton, shield removed, flanked. Roger that. Have, uh, have Jack come up. Did you call him Jack him up? 
Uh, Jack can't see anything. This isn't good. This isn't good. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run up against the building here. Sometimes you just got to cover ground. Hang in there. Hang in there. All right, so this will be a telling turn. Oh, uh oh. Kachunk. Boom! Yeah. I'll do that. They yeah. have a very powerful melee attack. Though, well, it didn't take a lot of points to hit a guy who was already in the tree. Oh, now you're you, now you are going to go off Overwatch and, and take a shot on somebody. Oh, look at that. All right, so we got the trooper here. We got him off his shield. That's right. good. Here comes the shield bearer. What's he going to do? What are you going to do, shield bearer? Well, that was that was very beneficial to you because I believe the shield bearer just shot the wall out uh, in front of the trooper. So Man, they are the wrecking turret. their own building. They, uh, they have well, you no know, care for the. This is if you ever wondered if the ethereals actually cared about humanity. Right. Here's your answer. All right, so we've got Gargamel. He could. Oh, I wonder. Would Void Rift in here? Well, that's going to hit two guys pretty It's not well. bad. Yeah. And I wonder, oh, you know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to use Fuse. Oh, yeah, there you go. Use Fuse. Do it, Jake. Save Fizzle Branch. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. They shredded their armor, destroyed his friend. Rex, Rex you don't even wall. know what's happening. Their he's mutons like, aren't like, very oh, smart he's already. He's oh, God, don't use this guy again. <laughs> It's seventy five percent. What could is the, possibly go wrong? Igor is the he has a weakness, which is turrets. Shooting turrets is a Let's see how he does against the mutons. Sort of, oh He's my He's terrible! God. You're terrible. You're off. You're done. You're done. Just go back to the Sky Ranger. Just go back to the Sky Ranger. That's, That's what done is. That's all I'm gonna say. Alright, so we've got Zoltan. He can he can still do something, right? He can come up and he can... Uh, you got no Lance, you got all kinds of stuff there. <laughs> yeah, oh, I wonder would no Lance hit them both from here? While the wall's burning. Let's find out. Zoltan is super low on hit points, so... Yeah, I don't think you got the angle so there. You can do I one, but not the other. Let me play with it. No, I, no, I don't have the angle. Don't have the angle. Oh, I'm gonna have to... Could try to dominate the shield bear, have somebody else take out the muton, and. But I wouldn't get control of the shield bear until next turn, right? That's true. So what somebody's got to be able to take out an unflanked. Do you have any other soldiers? Somebody's got to be able to take out unflanked muton. Surely. Surely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can take out an unflanked muton, no problem. This well. is the worst team. This is the worst team. Everybody's going back to base. You know what? We're gonna just uh, we're gonna soul fire the Utah. Yeah. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah. It's. You can't go wrong. Didn't kill him. That's oh, great. Oh, you actually can go wrong. Yeah. 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 I think we've. Oh, steel. excellent! Excellent. Right, so you so did get some health, bit. which is good. And uh, and Harry's ready to act. And of course, Harry could still act. Should've, should've left should have left Harry, yeah. but that's all right. Yeah, that's there crap. we go. 16 points of damage. Yeah, he's like, yeah, way to go. Thanks, Harry. All right, so let's see what this shield bearer does. I'd feel confident, too. I don't blame you, shield bearer. I think it's a little, little, little bold to run out there and attack an entire squad as a shield bearer, but... You know what? He he, uh, he's he is been... seriously pumped up with hit points, though I must say. And the, oh god, that turret is now shielded. So yeah, that's pretty brutal. That's a lot of hit points on that shield. Yeah, it really is. It's uh, it's kind of unpleasant to look at. All right, so we've got. Is the shield bearer have a grenade? Yes, he does. Oh no. No. It's the one on the. Uh... No, it's the dead mutons grenade. No, oh, wait, we already no, detonated no, no. it. It's the one on the right, soldier. So, yep, that's it's right. The it's the one on the troopers. advent soldier. Yep. Oh, the advent trooper, yeah. Uh, this guy. 
I shoot gun. Surely he can make this, right? Yep. Right? Is gun facing right way? How is hold gun? <laughs> Someone tell me how is hold gun. This is, um, I'm really, really impressed with how this has gone. So, uh, we could come in here. You know what? These guys are, are pretty, pretty low willpower. Yeah. So Insanity is so, a good, good, good choice. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to dominate him because I think that'd be overkill here. Let's see what happens. Let's see. There we go. Yep. See, there we go. There we go. So the shield gets removed. It takes damage actually because this is an upgraded form of insanity. So. Yep. He's the the shield bear is now ruptured, which means it will take more damage from attacks in the future. He is damaged, he lost his shield, so he's so now sort of a weak unit, but we'll do whatever we want him to do. We'll have, you know what, it's time for everyone to get in the, in the building. So we're going to have everybody get inside. Um, Jake, I know you actually have things that you need to get done today. I so do, I'm point, still you working. Bolt. You need to bolt, let All me right. know. So I know it's 3 o'clock. Um, you can always tune into the, uh, to the stream on Archive and, and see how it turned out. But, yes, uh, I will. You know what, I, I, yeah, I think you're going to be able to pull this out no problem. I appreciate the confidence because um, I don't know that I share it necessarily. I, I think I'm, I speak for the, uh, the Twitch chat when I feel my abilities in this case have not lived up to, uh, <laughs> to Barry. So, um, Jake, thanks for, thanks for coming out today. Thank you. We're going to finish it up, but uh, yeah. good luck. And, All right, uh, no, no, good luck to you. <laughs> I'm, I think I'll be fine. Um, yeah. Pete, I, I love you all, and send Pete your well wishes, and if not, um, send uh, flower arrangements to his family. So Thank you very much. All, all right. right, Jake, thanks. Thank you. All right, now let's go back to the game. And let's see. So uh, I try to figure out if we can do something about this stupid turret up here. Uh, Pitbull could get up top. Do, 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 do. Also, off running gun. Let's see what's on top. What's on top of this building that we could do something with? So there is some cover up there. I would not be able to end up behind it because I would be totally, totally flanked on that. Yeah, I could slash the turret. That would be such a terrible idea. Holy cow. Um, okay, so let's see. What is my conventional move get me? That would get me to this spot right here. A little close to the fire, but you know what? I can. Rolling. And what we'll do is we will try to get a turret, a grenade underneath that turret. So. Catch. Get that frag out. Let's go drop that turret. That's gonna destroy it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so Gargamel's gonna, gonna join the party inside. On the move. Oh no! And that's why you never dash on your last move. All right, so um, we've got two more enemies we're worried about. This guy's still mind controlled, that's good. Hopefully they'll be more focused on him. Codex is going to teleport because, of course, she is. And that's one of her abilities. Now, the good part is she's going to disable some weapons here. These are, that's a lot of disabled weapons. That's a whole lot of disabled weapons. That's okay, Psy soldiers don't need weapons, right? Right? They have no need for it. In the meantime, we're just going to get out of the way of this big swirly purple void. Okay, so I've got a disabled weapon here. Okay, I got one more turn before no lance is available again. That's not good. Oh yeah. 
Now, one of the things that I think I'm going to try to do is I wonder if I can get my flashbang grenade all the way over there. I can. That's great. So I will go ahead and use the flashbang. flashbang. Did that, is that going to hit her? So, no, that did not. Hmm. Okay. No worries. We got this, right? This is all good. So one of the things that I can do is I can come back here. I really need to take this sectoid down pretty quickly. Soul fire on the sectoid. Let's go ahead and we're going to do that. Assault's hand might be a little bit out of luck. Let's see. Need to get back. Let's move already. One of the things that I could do is I could no land. Actually, domination. Not much of a chance of control there, but it would be pretty awesome to try. Uh, no land six to nine. That would do lots of damage, but there is yeah, no we're going go to go try that. And now you're going to see one of the reasons why the Codex is such an awful enemy to fight in the game. So she's going to make an extra copy of herself. And I, my biggest priority right now is to get out of the big purple swirly thing of don't stand in that. Um, after that, it's going to be a matter of getting to uh, getting to be able to let's um, try to finish off this. Uh... Moving to designated position. Finish off this uh, this uh, sectoid over here. Grenade out. Gotta put a grenade behind him. Oh, didn't kill him. Oh, what? Ah. Oh. All right, so let's see. We got Harry over here. So actually, I'm going to have Harry finish off. Finish off. Uh, but I'm going to have, yeah. Have it to here. Heading to that location. Wouldn't normally leave him out in the open at that, but we're going to just try. Quick and dirty way of getting it down. Excellent. Target down. Still got one codex left out there in the world, but that's okay. You know what? Maybe we can maybe we can trick trick the other codex and uh, run our shield bearer out. Oh, that. Undid the mind control. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Taking heavy damage. Yep. Yep. What are you trying to do, you silly sectoid? You can't possibly have expected that to work. And here's where Bladestorm turns out to be really cool. Got him. So Psy Zombie goes down. It's gonna reload. Yep. Yep, okay, here we go. So boss has got one more shot at 36%. He's not going to make it. Let's get over to Harry real quick. Toggling through my team. All right, Harry's going to go ahead. And we're actually going to take the Codex down. Ultimately a bigger threat. Enemy destroyed. 
All right, so who all's outside here? So we can reload. Let's, let's go ahead and, and do that. Take a shot. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that's my... Wait, 36. Ah! See? Excellent. Excellent. And back inside the building here. Where's my, where's my, I could no lands. Yes. Something's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. You cannot hide. <coughs> okay, so, sectoids down, that's good. We'll go ahead and we're gonna plant these Get explosives. How long they've been keeping these storage units running down here? Yeah, who does know that? We don't care. We're gonna plant these X4 charges and we're gonna get out of Dodge. Menace one five, status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction. All right, so point we need to move to an extraction back. point. We're gonna call the Sky Ranger in. Beep. I like the idea of calling in the Sky Ranger right here. Enemy back in here. Make it easy for everybody to get out of town. Woo! Good copy. Moving on target. Hopefully we get out before too many enemies come in on us. So tell you what, boss, why don't you go back and start filling out your resignation letter? I could help you find the, uh, the drawer where the stationery is kept because uh, clearly you can't find anything like an enemy target to hit with a gun. Moving on our okay, so here's the thing. Advent reinforcements are on their way. We don't care. We're gonna get out of town before they show up. They're gonna get here and we're gonna be long gone. Long gone, so Spook's gonna, Gargamel Fizzle Branch is gonna move up here. And we're gonna have Zoltan Cosmos get out of get out of town, get our Magi clear. Let's go. Roger that. I'm gonna get Jack Lee to clear out of the building. Hi, everybody's out. Oh, one more guy. We got Harry. Harry's gotta get out of here. Alright, it's like, That's easy boss. Easy, easy. Just in time. Alright. And that's it. Menace here goes the building. Take that, Admin. And that's gonna, uh, that's gonna slow down progress on the Avatar project. Gonna buy us a little bit more time. Uh, we're gonna head back. Rating good. One soldier killed. All right, so let's come back to the studio real quick. Um, thank you guys for joining us today as we took a closer look at the Psy Soldiers in XCOM 2. Um, appreciate you coming out and watching it. Uh, stay tuned next week. We'll have uh, more on XCOM 2. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to some of the coverage that's dropping. Uh, Garth and Mark Nata are out in the wild uh, doing uh, various uh, tours with people. We've got all sorts of awesome live streaming going on around XCOM right now. And uh, we're moving towards our launch date of this February 5th. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Take it easy. Question is how long?